Good afternoon folks, my name's Sandy, this is Sawing with Sandy, welcome back to the channel. Just a moment ago I made my way out here to the forest with my 2012 Coyote DK40 SC. You guys can see it right here behind me. Now this tractor was purchased uh, probably about four years ago and I'm very very happy with the purchase still. It's been a very reliable tractor and it's certainly been a workhorse around here. Now today I'm going to tell you just a little bit about some of its functionalities, including this thing right here, a grapple. I think if you're in the market for a grapple or maybe you're looking at buying a tractor and you don't know what, uh, what attachments and implements and things like that to get, I'll tell you one thing, a grapple is probably right up there with uh, the single most important things you can get with the tractor, especially if you're going to be doing uh, work around the woods, sort of like I do. This right here is an HLA. 66-inch uh, wide root rake. It's actually called the light duty root rake with grapple and uh, You'll see on the side here. Here's the details So this thing's been in action for probably the better part of four years since I've got the tractor and well It uh, has held up very very well. I'm gonna tell you about why I like this and How I saved some money when I bought this and I didn't save money because I had a discount code or anything like that but how I actually mounted this to the tractor in order to make it function is how I save the money. What I'm gonna be talking about today is how you connect this to the very front of the loader when you don't have hydraulic hookups, because I didn't when I originally was looking at this tractor. So just to back up here a little bit, when I was originally looking to buy a tractor, I was looking at older tractors to begin with. I was looking older because they were cheaper. And when I say older, I'm talking like 90s, maybe late 80s tractors. And the trouble I was finding was uh, I didn't want to buy something that was going to need work. I'm not a diesel mechanic in the least, and uh, because I don't have a huge wealth of knowledge with tractors at that time, I didn't want to uh, open up a can of worms that I couldn't close. So I ended up buying a tractor that was a little bit newer than what I originally anticipated, and I think that worked out for the better. This was not brand new when I bought it. I think I got it. It had right around 500 hours. It was actually being used by the dealership to clear snow. They had a full history on this, which was great. They uh, used it every day, or at least every day in the winter. And uh, so that, that also made me feel a, a bit reassured. So I ended up buying it. The only trouble is I wanted to do some things with it, but it wasn't capable of it yet. As I mentioned, the grapple was gonna be very important for me. As you guys know, I do a lot of log work. And so I needed hydraulic connections at the front. So the suggestions they had for me at the dealer was basically three things. I could do a third function kit, I could do a diverter valve, or I could do what I did, which was basically run really long hydraulic lines all the way along the loader, all the way underneath. You guys can still see them, there they are there. All the way underneath to my rear remotes. And here's where they come up, and here's where they connect. I went with that and I went with that at the time because I was already spending a boatload of money. I didn't have any more money to give. That was a good option. I didn't know if that was going to last in the long term, but I can tell you it's still here. I do like third functions. I do like diverter valves, but for the amount of effort, the amount of money that it would take to get that and the amount of use I'm using the grapple, I think this is a good alternative. And so those rear remotes are hooked right to this lever disregard the mess and dust in here so here's the main loader here's the here's the rear remotes lever so it's very close and basically how it works it's got two uh two ways to move and ultimately that will allow my grapple to open and close and so the only downside with that type of hookup to the rear remotes is you don't have the option of doing multiple functions at once so if i wanted to move part of the loader and grab onto a log, sort of like a hydraulic thumb on a mini excavator, doing multiple movements at the same time. I can't do that. Uh, if you can live with that, which I can, this will save you a whole bunch of money. And you may be wondering, well, how much money are we talking? Well, I just priced out today, just for curiosity's sake, what it cost. I priced out today a third function kit for my Coyote. We're talking about $850 American for that third function kit, and then I'd have to install it. The time it would take me to install it, I'd have to factor in a little bit. If I was gonna pay someone to install it like a dealer, well, you know what they charge. Although dealers are great, don't get me wrong. They're just expensive, right? Good work, costs good money. 
that's 850 bucks. Top that up with a bit of labor, you're quite a bit more money than some longer hoses. Those longer hoses here, I could probably get those for, you know, maybe 100, 200 bucks. Uh, the fittings are not difficult to put in. All we really had to do here was weld on a bracket and then uh, you can hook up the existing hoses from the grapple. So if you're looking to get yourself a grapple or maybe you're looking for a tractor and it's gonna have a grapple, you got some decisions to make. For me, for my situation, I found this basic setup with long hydraulic hoses running to the rear remotes. I found that to make the most sense for me. Kept costs down and because I'm not using this grapple every single day for something like a business, then I didn't think it was worth that big investment for a third function. Now, if a little bit of money comes out of one of these trees one of these days, sure, I'll get a third function kit. Don't, uh, don't kid yourself. But for today, I think this is going to continue to work well. And so what I'm going to do in just a minute, I'm going to, well, there's actually some little logs here under the, under the snow. I'm going to pick these up and I'll put them onto my, my log deck, which I've been intending to do for a while. And then we're going to head down the trail and I'm going to pick up some more logs. You guys can see exactly what it's like from my perspective to use the grapple in this configuration using this lever. It's not perfect, but it's certainly, do certainly doing the trick for me. Maybe this will uh, sway your decision whether you like this or whether you're staying way away. Anyways, here we go.
guys. I think that's going to do it for me here today. As you can tell, that works pretty good for my application. Now, in a perfect world, I'd have a, uh, I'd have a third function kit. But as I said before, it's just another expense. And when you've got all kinds of equipment and you've got land and you've got all kinds of stuff, you're spending a lot of money already. So I'm not really ready to put a little bit more down on the third function quite yet. I will eventually, just not quite yet. Gotta find some money trees out there. I see some of them, but they're not making me any money right now. Making me a lot of lumber, but that's about it. Guys, that's it. Take care, be well, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, and I'll see you next time.